democratic policies. In recent weeks, with the midterms now just around the corner, Republicans and pundits alike have blamed the Democrats for the high cost of gas, to the consternation of Democratic officials who have yet to develop an effective response to the accusations. I wanted to know just how true it was that Democratic policies resulted in higher gas prices than in states that are controlled by Republicans. I compared five sets of states. When I chose which states to use I attempted to pair states with similar situations such as population sizes slash growth, ruralness, distance from the continental U.S., and similar factors. What I found is that as on average, gas prices really are higher in most Democratic-controlled states versus in Republican states. The first pair of states I looked at were Democrat-controlled Illinois and Republican-controlled Indiana. In Illinois, the cost of regular is $4.14. Across the border in Indiana, the same gas is $3.98. A difference of 16 cents. The second pair I looked at was Democratic-controlled California versus Republican-controlled Texas. In California, current prices for regular are $6.18. But in Texas, the same gas costs $3.11. A difference of more than $3 between the two states. The third pair I chose were Democratic New York and Republican Florida. Even here, with Florida currently being slammed by Hurricane Ian, the price of a gallon of regular is still higher in the Democratic-controlled state. New York's price for regular is $3.63, which is higher than Florida's $3.40. The fourth set of states were Democratic Colorado and Republican Wyoming. This was the only set of the five where prices in the Republican state were higher than those in the Democratic state. In Colorado, the price of regular is $3.77. Across the border in mega controlled Wyoming, it is $3.90. At least 20 more cents than in Colorado. In the fifth set I compared prices in Hawaii to prices in Alaska. Both states were over $5, but Hawaii's were higher. Regular in Hawaii is $5.24 and in Alaska I found it is $5.09, a difference of 15 cents. Based on this data, I calculated that for the past week gas prices were an average of 89 cents higher in Democratic-controlled states than in Republican-controlled states. In fact, I found that in four out of five cases the price of gas was at least 15 cents higher in Democratic-majority states than in Republican-majority states. I found that most of the difference in prices was due more to differences in policies and priorities between the two political parties than to other factors such as storms or shipping issues. Most gasoline used in the U.S. is produced in the U.S. according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. While Democrats have argued that most U.S. fuel is imported from abroad and the higher prices are due to shipping log jams, the U.S. Energy Information Administration, however, says that the U.S. only gets 35% of its oil from foreign sources. The remaining 65% comes from within the continental U.S. This leaves the policy differences between the two types of states as the primary reason for the partisan difference in gas prices. This proves the statement that gas prices are higher in Democratic states due to policies is in fact true. This has been your weekly fact check. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.